Michael Kidd fought in the Korean War. More than six decades later, he still suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder, but gets help from pet therapy, specifically his dog, Millie. My blood pressure is up. Right now I can tell you it's high. She knows it. And she warns me, she tells me. Paws of War is an organization that trains shelter animals to help veterans cope with the trauma of war. It's one of a growing number of groups across the United States offering support to those facing a difficult time returning to civilian life. And the need is great. Just because things went sideways after I came home, but if the proper resources were there when we came home, we wouldn't be in this position to begin with. You know, like, like we wouldn't have turned to drugs, we wouldn't have turned to alcoholism, homelessness wouldn't have came into play. Another pressing issue, suicides. The Department of Veterans Affairs, or VA, reports an average of around 20 deaths by suicide each day among the military community, including veterans. We know this is a shared challenge. Nationwide suicide rates are alarming and increasing. None of us has solved this issue and no single case of suicide is identical to any other case. Yet things are changing and the Veterans Crisis Line run by VA says more former service members are reaching out for help. I think that the VA is increasing in awareness, but I think the American uh, public and society as a whole is increasing in awareness. Last year, 325 active duty personnel committed suicide, the highest number since the U.S. military began keeping records nearly two decades ago. The Pentagon says it is committed to addressing this problem, which it describes as devastating and unacceptable. Gerald Tan, CGTN, Washington.